Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Jermaine here. You know, one incredible topic that I've been reading a bit about recently are ways to almost hack happiness. You know, when you think about it, like conceptually hacking happiness, it doesn't really seem to make sense because you think to yourself, you can actually pursue a lot of your life trying to be happy. You can pursue different things, options, commitments, people, whatever it may be. So how do you really actually try to get yourself to narrow down and have a chance to almost increase your happiness pretty quickly. You know, one really fascinating thing that I've had read about and heard was from Jordan Peterson. Now, Jordan Peterson looked and said, we sometimes define ourselves in terms of the jobs that we do. And so when people do that, you think about the job as almost being a part of who you are, what you are. But actually, sometimes its ability to actually offer you something like happiness is quite low. And so through this process, we may sometimes look to yearn for holidays as a bit of an escape. There are different activities, vices, whatever it may be that you yearn for again as an escape. And you struggle to sometimes find this happiness. What he contends is that we should actually be looking at the more almost basic day-to-day -day things that we do as a way of getting ourselves closer to happiness. And he says, the way your partner looks at you in the morning, the engagement that you have um, with your family over breakfast on a regular basis, you know, something that you repeat daily, whatever it may be. It could be going to a particular coffee shop and talking to the same barista. It could be going to the same place for lunch. Whatever it may be, there are small daily things or almost daily things that we do, which are part of our fundamental relationships. Again, you may it might be the way your partner looks at you. It might be how you are with your parents. It might be your engagement with your child or children, whatever it may be. He says, make those things pristine. His word was pristine. It really stands out. He says, make those things pristine and you will very quickly be able to see your happiness improve. It's an incredibly powerful thought. And many times, if we actually went and gave ourselves that challenge and said, what are the absolute key things that we really, really, really need to get right? Quite often, our relationship with our partners, our children, our family and our friends, if you just take those kind of four groups, that is quite often the biggest chunk of the stuff that we really look and say we need to get right. As in a non-negotiable, we want to nail it, we want to make sure that thing is okay. You then probably add in things like your own personal health. So, you know, to the extent that we can, we all want to try to make sure we're fit, active, healthy, can live a long, fulfilling life. Then you may add on other considerations. So, for example, the way in which we create our homes, and the way in which we have all of the nice experiences in life. Let me put it like that. That is probably something many of us are really actively committed to making sure we do well. For many of us, we want to have certain experiences in life. And we're really clear about it. We actually spend a lot of time trying to do these things. When you put those three things in the mix, there's not like a huge amount of time left typically. Often when you put work in there, it is absolutely important, but it can quite easily kind of almost sit as a, as a fourth option behind those other commitments. You know, you try to get your relationships with your friends, family, partner, children, try to get that solid. You try to get your own personal health into a great place and you try to kind of take care of your experiences, which will include your housing, your holidays, it will include things like your finances, whatever it may be. You get those things right. They're really key non-negotiables and work is almost certainly in there. But when you stack it up against those other three things, it probably is not necessarily the most important. Sometimes it may be and there's no judgment here, but quite often it doesn't sit kind of right at the top of that list, but it's going to be on the list nonetheless. Peterson would look and say, if you get those things pristine, get them as good as they absolutely can be, you can improve the happiness you have. 
Now, you know, it's something that Leanne and I have been really working on quite uh, quite a bit recently. You know, we've really tried to make sure of all of these things, our relationship together and our relationship with our child and with our families, we've tried to build that as much as we can. Now, of course, these things really take time. But one of the most powerful things is when you're conscious of something, you can then gr drastically see the improvement in it. You know, when you're conscious of wanting to make a relationship positive, you often turn up in a more positive way. So we've been putting that energy in, putting that commitment in, and really focusing on the relationships. Um, we had a really good run in terms of health, but frankly, we need to be more consistent and do a bit better. Um, and then when it comes to things like the experiences and the finances, well, we spend a lot of time on that, as you'd know. And, you know, it's it's growing and improving. And that's always a good thing. You know, if you can get that kind of growth and improvement, it's a really good place to be in. So that's the reality, guys. You know, like it's taking that time um, to really try to put together that really simple list of those things that make a big difference to you um, between relationships, health. Uh, making sure your experiences are on point and the work. Often, if you kind of get the balance between those things on point and you try to make them as pristine as you can, the the benefit has been incredible. And I think for us, we have almost deliberately tried to focus on, certainly on the relationships as well as the experiences. And strangely, as a result, the work seems to have almost followed suit and been improving. Um, and the next big focus is to make sure that we can get the health to the point that we really want it to be in. And of course, the biggest test there is going to be really consistency. It's all about doing the right types of things over a long period of time on a consistent basis. That's the real key. And frankly, we've fallen short of where we want to be and we're looking to improve. Look, I just want to share that with you guys, because if anyone is out there um, just working through on that self-improvement, wondering how to really kind of maybe drive through and almost shortcut or hack happiness a little bit, you know, maybe try this out. Put together that list of things that you've really been, um, that you really think are the big things that you'd want to get right in life, that are your priorities in life. Put it together. Think about those that really sit at the top of the list. Make them pristine. Think about those things that you repeat on a daily basis and where you could get them to be in a great position. Make them pristine. And I really hope and pray you find some luck and success and added happiness through that process. Speak to you next week, guys. Have a fantastic week ahead and look forward to catching up. Take care. Bye.